see the eyes? Yeah, it's blown. Yeah. That's its intestines all inside the air bladder there. Stopped breathing long since. It's already dead. Yeah, it's dead. This film documents the detrimental effects of explosive decompression on finfish pulled from the ocean floor to the surface in fish traps. Visible inside the trap are two angelfish, two hogfish, three lobsters, and numerous crabs. Notice that the escape panel is fastened with stainless steel clips instead of degradable materials as required by fish trap construction laws. A bucket filled with air will lift the trap to the surface. In keeping with safe diving practices, we limit our ascent rate to less than one foot per second. The hydraulic pullers used by trappers bring traps to the surface at many times this speed, thus intensifying the damage to the fish. In spite of the fact that fish traps have been illegal in the South Atlantic for 10 months, there continues to be numerous sightings of functioning traps by divers. We easily located two traps near Big Pine Key, Florida, in 120 feet of water next to an artificial reef. Artificial reefs concentrate fish in close quarters, and fish traps are often found in large numbers around these easy targets. In order to show what happens to fin fish when they are brought rapidly to the surface, this portion of the film is unedited. What you are about to see proves graphically that fish subjected to explosive decompression are either killed or suffer mortal injury. depth of approximately 50 feet, the fish begin to experience internal pressure as their swim bladders expand to greater than normal size. The fish desperately try to swim downward. Closer to the surface, physical changes occur rapidly. At a depth of 30 feet, the pressure of the expanding swim bladder damages internal organs, causing convulsions. Watch the hogfish, which will appear on the left side of the screen. As the swim bladder of the convulsing fish explodes, gas bubbles escape from its mouth. The damaging effect of changing pressure makes no distinction between food fish and non-food fish species, nor does it spare legally undersized specimens.
need the rope. I need the rope. God, that makes me sick. Film the Here's go down. It. So those are the clear yeah. stainless yeah, steel clips. Stainless clips, clips yeah. Typical. All right. All right, look out. We're going to dump it towards you. Okay, you see? It's its intestines all inside the air bladder there. Stop breathing long since. It's already dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. You see his eyes? Yeah, it's blown. Wow. Bladder. Same right. thing. This fish are dead. This one's dead also. Also got his fins all chewed up from the trap. See it? Okay, this is a ghost trap. You know, put the inside. inside. Yeah, there were some. You see all the bones piling yeah. out of it when we were breaking it's it one up? One of them right here. Yeah. One of the bones. There were some more inside. Yeah, there's some. I saw some skulls somewhere. That's a neat looking crab. Look at that. Well, I cannot reach it. Oh, that bone? Yeah. I'll get it closer to you. Okay, look at that. That crab is eating that piece of bones. Can you get this piece now? Yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't for the crabs and all, there'd be a lot more bones. So those crab are eating everything. That's a sponge from a sponge crab. That's a crab. Spon sponge crab. Oh, yeah. oh, here, this one. This one.